three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video we're going to talk about the Titan Net Processor. The Titan Net Processor is the insides of a console without the control surface. It allows you to expand the number of DMX lines in a show beyond the 16 which a console can produce by offloading the processing into a separate unit. Up to three TMPs can be added to a system to give you a total of 64 universes of control as of version 13. The TNP has eight DMX outputs as well as two Ethernet ports, allowing flexibility in the setup of ArtNet and or streaming ACN. Assigning of universes to be offloaded to the TNP is done through DMX settings on the console as well as assigning of the DMX outputs. The TNP can also be used in console mode, which we explore in another video. Let's take a look at the TNP. So here I've got a TNP with version 13. I will go through its basic screen setup here. Uh, we can see our two uh, local area connections are Ethernet ports. Uh, the top one, I don't have anything plugged in. That's why it has the X. And the second one has the check mark, which is where I have a cable plugged in. If we go to, if we click on Home, this is what we see here. If we go to Setup, uh, we can change our network settings by clicking here and selecting Connection. If I had something plugged into Connection 1, we would also see it here. We can then click on it and set the address and DHCP as needed. Uh, we're using DHCP, DHCP today uh, for how we're set up. We can change our node settings. We can change its legend. Instead of just having the serial number by default, we can change it to something else. We can change the node line color, which is the color here and what you'll see in DMX uh, settings. So we'll go ahead and we'll make it a nice green. Titan telemetry. Uh, this is a, a, the allows it to talk back to the console. It's generally not used, uh, but you can turn it off if you wish. A lock, we can lock the uh, TNP so the uh, front panel cannot be adjusted any. I simply type in a code like one, two, three, four, and hit enter. And now the uh, TNP itself is locked, and we can just type the same code to unlock it. Uh, in the tools, we can click on the monitor. Here we see cycle time and render time. Cycle time is going to be the processor load that the uh, processor inside the TNP is currently seeing. Render time is the actual load of the outputs uh, through your ports or streaming ACN. Uh, we also have the X button. We can exit from wherever we are and enter. Uh, if we need to hit it here, we also can bring up the keyboard if we needed to type something in. And we can just go back to the home for this. So to see how to set up our console with our TNP, let's go ahead and uh, pull that up on screen here. Here I've got version 13 of Titan uh, running the Titan Go interface, so I have a mobile hooked up uh, for hard keys, uh, and we can see that we have the TNP uh, also. So to set our TNP up, we simply go into the system menu and then DMX settings. And we'll see here that we can see our TNP up at the top. If we click on it, uh, we can see if there's anything assigned, which is currently nothing. Uh, we can also go to DMX Overview, and we can see what's assigned to our Titan Mobile. Right now, it's all 20 of these lines are being processed by our Titan Mobile in our show. If we were to click on the TNP, we can see, the, we can see the information about it. I particularly want to show the, uh, if we scroll down here, Processing load. Uh, this says how much the load factor is on the console. Uh, in my opinion, if you get above 80%, you should start considering adding a TNP to your system. So to assign our lines to a TNP, we simply just select which lines we want. And I'll go ahead and just drag select across these ones here. And then click on the Titan Net processor itself. Give it a moment. Now we can see that these lines, lines 12 through 18, are now being handled by our TNP. So if we click on here, we can see here, we can see it right up to the outputs if we wanted, or to streaming ACN, if we want to send streaming ACN universe 1 uh, to line 12 on here, we could, or on our universe to here if we wished. To unassign a line from a TNP, you can do it. Uh, one of two things. You need to select it again and then assign it back to our Titan Mobile by clicking here. 
Or if we were to select, say, these lines, this line here, since there's actually nothing patched to it, and you can then unassign the line, and now it's not assigned to anything. Also, if we assign a couple of lines again to our TMP quickly, we could release our uh, TMP by clicking the Release button here, and then Confirm. And it now unassigns them from our TMP and back to our master console, in this case, the Titan Mobile. To save these settings, simply exit the menu. Just setting up a TMP with Enable Lights console. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. Join us next time. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.